today I have a different kind of haul for you guys. It is a torrid haul, I will say that. But it is all boho inspired. I have been really playing with bohemian fashion. I've had such a great time trying out a different look and playing with different things. And so everything I have, or almost everything I have, is totally boho. So if that is up your alley, you're gonna love this haul. So I've noticed that as a whole, boho and plus size goes together but kind of doesn't. Like no one's doing it like really well. There are dresses that are billed as boho, but they never quite like make the mark for me and there's things that are like boho but they're not. So I've really been hunting for some really beautiful pieces, some really like just whimsical, romantic kind of, you know, that kind of boho, not like 70s, tiny little flower ditzy print, like woodstocky, but more like romantic, resorty, beachy, that kind of boho. And I found that Torrid seems to be my go-to and is really rapidly turning into my go-to. So the first piece I will talk about is the one I'm wearing. I'm wearing this little wrap um, from Torrid that I just picked up over the weekend. Um, I took it down to Tucson with me to wear over a swimsuit and I'm finding that I have a lot of opportunity to wear it. Um, so it's a white mesh and it has a fringe um, and a little kind of crochet deal here at the bottom. And it is hip length. The only thing that I would have loved more about this if it were full length, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, really cute little thing. I love how romantic it is. I love how whimsical it is. I think it's just so, so pretty. Um, and I think it's a great way to kick off this haul with all these like beautiful romantic details. The next item I have to show you is another wrap. I did buy a couple of wraps. One of the main principles of bohemian fashion is layering. Um, so you really want to like layer pieces on pieces on pieces and kind of keep everything flowy and loose and lightweight. And this next one, um, this next wrap I think is just right in that alley. So if you like, ro like if your version of romance isn't necessarily this, but it's more floral, I think you're really gonna like this. So this is a different wrap. Um, it is kind of like, like a high-low, but it's split on the side, so you can actually wrap these pieces around your waist if you want to. Really, really cute, really pretty, really delicate, very romantic, um, and just a great little piece to have. I'll get all of the wraps out of the way just because I, I figured that might be a little convenient while we're all here. Now this one is a Disney wrap and I got it because I'm going on a Disney cruise, but it's a Disney wrap that like you really have to like search for the Disney in it. It's not super obvious. So it's white and navy and it has kind of a nautical feel to it, which I really like and I do feel like it is a little bohemian. Um, the It's a little mermaid inspired one and you have to look pretty closely to see you know, the mermaids on it. And if you do know what to look for, you know that that's Ariel right there. And then Sebastian is somewhere. There he is kind of right here. So you have that, you have the little seahorse. Um, I think Flounder's in there as well, but it's not super obvious and I really like that. I think that's really cool. So super excited to wear this on my cruise, but also I think I'm gonna wear it like going to Disney and just in general, like bohemian style because I feel like the flow of it, the length of it, and also the nautical vibes I think are super, super romantic. So, okay, maybe a little bit of a stretch from the whole boho thing, like it's not quite here, but I wanted to show you guys because I was really excited about it. Okay, let's get into the fashion of it all. The first dress I have to show you now, I have been collecting this stuff um, probably for about two months now. So some of it may be sold out, but I will say Tord is still gonna be your best bet for boho, boho fashion, really nice, beautiful pieces. Um, this is the lining to the first dress because I did separate them. I don't like when the lining is attached. So this is just the shell, so please to ignore that, but I am wearing it in the try-on portion. Um, this first dress is so cute. I did belt it because it is a little oversized and as a result looks more sack-like than I'd like, um, but I really love Love this look how pretty this is you guys this like crochet down the center umpire waist pleated like beautiful sleeve kind of almost like a shark tooth like it's higher on the side and lower in the front and back I paired it with a little belt like I said to kind of just give me a little more shape in it because I definitely lost my shape in it I have the perfect pair of boots to go with this so, so cute. Um, yeah, I just, I really, really like this. Now looking at it, I will say when you try things on, you're like, oh, that maybe looks a little too bleh, a little too billowy and I'm losing my shape. Don't forget belts are a thing. You can throw a belt over almost anything. So um, this was a really, really pretty piece. I'm actually really excited to wear this this summer. By the way, I think that was a piece from their runway collection that they did during New York Fashion Week. So um, if it is, uh, I would definitely go on their site and look under runway collection. This next dress is also from the runway collection 
collection, it came with a lining that I very quickly threw out because I felt like even though it did give extra coverage, which I needed, um, I didn't like how it took this dress from really beautiful and whimsical to uh, just a little too matronly to me. So um, it had a, like a spaghetti strap slip underneath with a high like kind of neckline to like here and I just got, I just threw it out. Um, but the overdress was so pretty. So it's white, it's a kind of a creamy color. It's not a pure white where like this was a pure white. So you can see the difference. This is more of an ivory cream color. This is gorgeous. This is a maxi. It has ties in the front. I've worn this over my swimsuit several times. I've worn it alone with like a head wrap several times. Such a beautiful, beautiful little dress. Um, long sleeve and look at the detail on the sleeve here, you guys. Like how gorgeous is that? Now I know for sure that this is sold out online, but I would definitely recommend you checking out your local Torrid to see if they still have them because this is just a phenomenal dress. This sold out, I, I would say almost immediately. I, as soon as it went up. So if you were lucky enough to grab one, good for you, boo. If not, check your local towards and see if there's any on clearance or kind of hanging out back there. But this is just so, so, so pretty. I just love this so much. Another little piece that is a cream color that is super boho and super chic and super adorable is this little off the shoulder number with a smocked top and shoulder and then a floaty lace bodice. And then um, we have a really nice lace lace bell sleeve so again really pretty um very flattering on like literally every body like if you're looking to maximize your waist and minimize your stomach and your hips this shirt's gonna be bomb for you like you're really gonna like love this and wear this and live your best boho life in it i paired it with a pair of jeans those are not necessarily the jeans i would wear with it but they were the ones i happened to have around um yeah just so cute just so adorable i have a similar one from city chic um that is white with with navy embroidery on it. So I'm really loving the style. I think it's so cute. Um, yeah, definitely a must have for my boho babes. Next up is a jacket that I believe is still in stock and I honestly can't figure out why it hasn't sold out yet because it's so great that like, I, why isn't this happening? So it's a mauve, like military band jacket, but three people did this exact jacket over the fall and it sold out and I was so pissed because I couldn't fit into it because they only go up to like a size 10. But like, look at this. This is so great, you guys. Like, are people not seeing the potential of this jacket? I, I don't get it. It's a lightweight kind of canvasy denim, whatever, with all this fun embroidering down the front. It has a great little detail in the back. So it's pulling in military vibes, but military and bohemian can really marry really nicely together. They are two aesthetics that, you know, either juxtapose really nicely or blend together really nicely. Um, so I'm surprised that this hasn't sold out yet because this is such a banger. I've worn this a million times with cutoffs, with a dress, with jeans, and I, I freaking love this jacket. So it even has like great button detailing on the sleeve. Like this is such a banger of a jacket. Um, if you can pick it up, definitely do that. But think about this with a maxi skirt. Think about this with like some really cool cutoffs and maybe like an off the shoulder blouse or something. There's so much that you can do with a jacket like this that I'm offended that it's still in stock. Before I show you my last piece, my last dress, I do have an accessory for you. I saw this hat on the website um, and it's kind of a f like a felt, but I was like, listen, this is, well, my hair is like in a thing. See, it's in a thing. So it's not gonna like fit properly. I don't wanna like totally destroy my hair because I have a couple more videos to film. But like, how boho is this hat? This hat is so cute. I am a fedora girl. I, as, as Raw Beauty Christy would say, I am a fedora ass bitch. And I love me a good fedora and this is a good fedora. This, or I don't even know what these are called, whatever. The I'm a hat ass bitch and this is a good hat. And I really, really like this hat a lot, a lot, a lot. So if this is still available, pick it up. I was at Tour the other day when I bought this and they did have some really, really, really cute hats in that are like similar vibes, like straw ones and stuff. So if you, um, um, have a lot of extensions in your hair like like a girl does or if you just have a bigger head and you have a hard time finding hats go to Torrid um, I have a really small head but with all my weave and stuff sometimes I need a bigger hat um, so this tends to work out really nicely for me so yeah I really like this this is wicked cute my last dress now i'm gonna put this video up as quickly as i possibly can because you guys need to get the to Torrid immediately and grab this dress i got it in a size two 
I could have got it in a size one. I probably should have gotten a size one, but it is selling out so quickly that um, I don't I don't even know if it's gonna be available by the time I post this. So um, it is this stunning, stunning, stunning yellow maxi dress. You guys, it's killing me. It has this bit here, which I might cut off because I'm not super into it. Um, nice to find waist with a ruffle and then just ruffles all the way down like shut the front gold this marigold color is like to die for one of my favorite little aspects of it that I, no one's talked about there's these two strappy bits that just hang out like you can tie obviously if you want to but like i let them hang and they have little tassels and i love how it just adds an element of movement to an already just stunning dress so if this if this is in stock i would highly recommend that you get it, it is a pricey one at 90 bucks but man, great quality and just so friggin' gorgeous. My best friend Amanda has one too. And uh, we have to call each other and be like, are you wearing the dress? Don't wear the dress, I'm wearing the dress today. And that's like a thing now. But anyway, I'm gonna wear the dress and she's just gonna have to change if she gets there first. So um, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous dress. The last item in this haul, you guys, so gorgeous. I think you should pick this up as soon as possible. It will fulfill all of your boho dreams. Okay guys, so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this torrid boho haul and that it inspired you to try something new and maybe you saw something that you like and you're gonna integrate it into your wardrobe. I'm gonna be doing a boho styling video, I think, when I get back from vacation. We will see. Um, I don't have time to do one now, otherwise I would be doing one now. Um, just show you guys at least some outfit inspiration, some cool ideas on things that you can wear. Um, but anyway, I hope you liked this video as much as I enjoyed putting it together for you and you saw something that you liked. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and turn on notifications don't forget to turn on notifications because YouTube is trying to play me, trying to play you, trying to play all of us. So make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss anything and let me know what your favorite thing was that I tried on. And as always, I want to know if you're into boho, is it something you're playing with, what your thoughts are. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Thank you so much for spending a part of it with me. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye! the fashion of it all the fashion of it all here are two more fashion videos while you're making a decision on which one to watch next turn on notifications so you don't miss anything you don't want to miss anything then things will sell out and then you're gonna be mad at me so hit notifications so you don't miss anything and then keep on window shopping and hanging out with me these videos right here they're gonna be good I promise